Ah, oh, hello, welcome, welcome, come on in. Welcome to this week's news video. We had an amazing Pentecost Sunday, didn't we? Just a few days ago, uh, just last week. What an amazing time in the morning with all those uh, baptisms and then the French Connect service and celebrations in the afternoon. What an amazing thing. Thank you to everybody who took part, everybody who came. A celebration of the Spirit's power and those baptisms in the morning. And actually this coming Sunday, we're gonna be having more baptisms. It's the season of baptisms, which is absolutely appropriate because when Pentecost happened 2000 years ago, there were baptisms, 3000 people believed and followed Jesus and were baptized on that particular day. It's really interesting on the day of Pentecost that not only was there an outpouring of the spirit, but when Peter stood up in front of people in order to tell them the good news, he focused on Jesus, not on the spirit, he focused on Jesus. And uh, it's not surprising that when we start talking about the spirit, and the spirit who sends us out on mission, we find ourselves very quickly talking about Jesus and about um, the Father that we're called to love. And so it is that the church, in all its great wisdom, calls the Sunday after Pentecost, which is this coming Sunday, Trinity Sunday. It's the Sunday when we think about the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And of course, when we baptise people, we baptise them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. For a long time, uh, thinking about God as three but one uh, was pretty complicated for the early church. Uh, about as complicated, I suppose, as a two-dimensional creature trying to think in three dimensions, or me trying to think intelligent thoughts before I got out of bed. But um, the church came up with the idea of the Trinity, one God, but who reveals himself in three different ways, depending on our perspective and, and how uh, we understand him. It's of course not surprising that God should escape our understanding because by definition he's greater than we are. So this Sunday we are going to be reflecting on uh, this amazing God that we worship, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, who calls us to trust in him and we celebrate that through baptism, but who also calls us all to be um, missionaries, to be sent out into his world in order to make disciples um, in the final words of Jesus. So we'll be looking at the end of Matthew's Gospel, where Jesus says, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me, therefore go and make disciples of all nations. What an amazing thing. The work of the Spirit, thanks to the gift of Jesus, bringing us into a relationship with the Father, God, three in one. Amazing. So join us this weekend and uh, at all our services, one, two, three, four, nine o'clock, 10, 30, uh, five o'clock and seven. And let's celebrate God's goodness and uh, everything that he wants to do as he sends us out into the world to be witnesses to his power and glory and love and joy and peace and all the rest. What an amazing thing. Have a great day. See you soon.